Hey, this is Mehdi with Fullstack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how to set flex items into one line or wrap them into multiple lines by using the flex wrap property, where I will focus on explaining the terminology behind flex wrap. I have a list of seven items and a viewport of 800 pixels. But if I go here and I add some elements, okay, let's just add some other elements, you see that the flex parent is overflowed. Why? Because we only used 800 pixels and items will overflow the flex container. To see that, let's just move to the main.css and I'll add an overflow X and I save it to auto. And as you see, I have a scroll bar right here when I can navigate to the other items. To solve this problem, you should distribute this element in multi lines instead of a single line. And to do that, you will use flex wrap, flex wrap property and we'll use the wrap value and now the flex container distribute the flex items in multi lines instead of one single line and as you see here i have a left space right here this is the left space and this left space right here doesn't fit the size of the next item in our case this ninth one okay if we move it so you see that nine doesn't fit this space and this is why it go to the next line so you have the choice to use flex wrap to force the items to be in one line or wrap them into multiple lines. The flex items break into multiple lines by using the wrap value for the flex wrap property. The axis responsible for that is the cross axis. Let's just draw one from top to bottom. And remember that flex direction row set the main axis to be horizontal which set the cross axis to be perpendicular of the main one. So wrapping the element will go from the top to bottom following the star and the end of the cross axis. And for the last value of flex wrap, we have a wrap reverse, which will swap the star and end of the cross axis. I take a screenshot of the wrap result. So if we compare it to the wrap reverse, we can see that the flex items are reversed horizontally from bottom to top instead of top to bottom. You can pause the video and check for that. So to summarize, flex wrap is used to control whether the flex container is a single line or wrap it onto multi lines, where no wrap value laid out flex items in a single line, then the wrap value break the flex items into multiple lines. And for the last one, wrap reverse swap the direction of the wrapped elements depending on the direction of the cross axis. 